Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Kling Lady and hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you my seventh Christmas project this month. So, as you can see, we're going to create a cracker box and it actually is created by using one A4 size card. So, if you like it, I really hope you'll feel inspired and craft along with me. For today's project, I'm going to use Christmas Magic Collection relatively thoughtful. It has lots of beautiful design papers and elements to fussy cut and I really like the snow in here so that's why I'm going to create that cracker box with those elements. In this collection you also have some beautiful poinsettias and santas as well so you can create lots of amazing projects this Christmas. And in the description down below I left the links to relatively thoughtful website, YouTube channel, Craft World, Facebook group, and also RT Create, Make and Share. So if you have any of the relatively thoughtful designs, even the free ones from the website, you can share your makes there. And to be honest, I was inspired by Paper Mona, and she created her cracker box with five sides. However, well, I wanted to have my twist on it, and I'm going to create a six-sided cracker box, and it is super simple to create. So I really hope you'll craft along with me. So let's create it. I'm going to use my big scoreboard and I've got A4 300GSM white multi purpose card. I'm going to create my first score line at 1 and 7 eighths. Then my next score line is at 3 and 3 quarters. My third scoring line is at 5 and 5 eighths. Then the next one will be at seven and a half of an inch. Then I need a score line at nine inches and three eighths. And the last score line will be at eleven and one quarter. So that's how we do it on the first side. Now I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and we're going to create a few more score lines. So the first one is going to be at two inches all the way down. Then my next score line will be at five inches, six and seven inches. And literally that is it. Super simple to create, right? But now you just have to use your bone folder to burnish all those score lines. So it is super simple, right? So if you want to create your cracker box, I really hope you will feel inspired. Now, let's burnish all those score lines. So I've got my bone folder, which makes it super easy. If you want, you can also use your fingernail and that will be perfectly fine. However, I do prefer to use my bone folder. How many projects have you created this Christmas? Or have you created any boxes? If not, maybe today is the day. Now I'm going to create some marks and I'm going to do it at half an inch from each of the score lines next to the second score line from the top. And then I'm going to create a triangles here at the bottom and at the top. So in the end, I'm going to have a diamond shape and I'm going to repeat that process. So from the score line, it's going to be half an inch both ways. If you want, you can also create a three uh, quarters of an inch. It will be perfectly fine. However, I really wanted my box to be slightly bigger. That's why I decided to have half of an inch. But of course, you can change the measurements so it will fit your project. So now, just to save time, I'm going to show you how I create those diamonds. So first, I'm going to go all the same angle all the way to the right hand side and then I'm going to do it to the left hand side and I think that really saves me a couple of seconds to create that project and then I decided to use my scissors to cut them out and I'm going to show you my trick but if you want you can also use a craft knife and that will be perfectly fine so this is super easy to create. As you can see, you don't really need any cutting dice to create it. And I think it is super amazing because lots of sweets are going to fit inside. Now, I'm going to cut the excess on this flap and actually cut that here half of a diamond. And now I'm going to fold it here along the score line. So I'm going to cut a whole 
diamonds together like two triangles so as you can see i'm using my crafters companion scissors because they can cut through that 600 gsm because in the end we're going to have two pieces of 300 gsm white card so for me that is the way to go however if you want as i told you you can use a craft knife and that will be perfectly fine so my drop element is nearly ready then we just have to cut the bottom a little bit so we can actually close the box. And I will show you my trick how to make the whole box a little bit stronger. So now it is time to erase all those pencil marks because we want this box to look professionally finished, right? And if you'd like to check Monica's Paper Mona um, Cracker Box, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. And also at the end of this video so you can check it out. I'm going to use my scissors and cut on those score lines up to the first scoring line from the bottom. So that will be the very bottom of my box. Yes, it is super simple to create. I'm going to cut the excess of the flap and just make sure you do have some on one side because we need glue to stick those sides. Now it is time to fold and burnish all those score lines. And we can actually assemble the box together. So if you want, you can do it now or you can decorate it first and then add here the bottom together. So first, I decided to actually decorate it. So I'm going to use my craft card. And these elements measure 2 and 3 quarters by 1 and 5 eighths. And now I chose those three snowman button papers. And I'm going to create my smaller elements. So they will be measuring 2 and a half by 1 and 1 eighth. Yes, and then it is time to assemble them together. And again, I'm, as usual, I'm using my liquid glue because I love it and I do have time to maneuver the elements. So if you'd like to create those boxes, I do encourage you to do so because you will have a little bit of space to put amazing sweets inside. And in the end, we're going to have a slight opening at the top, but there is always a way. So I'm going to use a little bit of tissue paper just to cover it and make sure the sweets are not going to leave my box. As you can see, this is super easy to create. And if you like this collection, it is just perfect to create those boxes. However, if you do have any other design papers in your stash, I'm pretty sure they will be perfect for this project as well. When this is ready, then we can decorate the top and this is optional. I did it, but you don't have to do it. I use exactly the same craft card because I think it goes really well with that snowman collection. And if you agree with me, please let me know in the comments down below. So these elements are slightly smaller and you can always use your trimmer or guillotine. If you would like to know which ones I use for my card making, I leave the links in the description down below. So here, as you can see, I chose the images of snowmen, which are exactly the same. However, I chose a different face than this at the bottom. So this way, I'm going to have a little bit of variation. And I do encourage you to play with the designs you've got in your stash, because that really makes a difference. So when these elements will be assembled, then I'm going to show you how to put the bottom of the box together. And to be honest, I think it is super simple. As it is six-sided box, we are going to put two opposite sides together and that is the way to go and then i'm going to show you how to make the box stronger so you can actually put even more sweets inside so let's finish decorating the box first as you can see it is super simple and you don't really need that much decorative paper to do it now i'm going to put the glue on the flap and assemble it so the crucial thing here is just to make sure the glue is set before you move on to the next step. So when this is ready, now I'm going to take two opposite sides and I'm going to put glue on here. And again, I'm going to use my liquid glue because I want to make sure I can maneuver the elements if I make a mistake. 
and it was really good about it and it dries clear so as you can see my two first sides are ready then i'm going to put some glue on top of it and then put the other two panels together the opposite ones and then when this is ready i'm going to finish off with the other two and when they are ready as you can see the box doesn't really look neat but there is always a way to make it better so i've got a scrap piece of 300 gsm white card and i'm going to use my ruler and my compass so i'm going to measure one inch and seven eighths and i'm going to create a circle measuring one and seven eighths so when this is ready i'm going to put the needle here and draw the circle because that is the side of my box. I'm going to create a mark. And then from my mark, I'm going to put that needle and create another mark. So in the end, if you do it very precisely, you're going to have six marks along your circle. Now it is time to take a ruler and join those marks we created. So in the end, you're going to have a regular hexagon. Super cool, right? I absolutely love creating those shapes with my compass because you can always create beautiful mandalas as well. Now I'm going to fussy cut that hexagon and use it as a template. So I'm going to create one more hexagon using that scrap piece of 300 GSM white multi-purpose card. So this way I can put one hexagon inside of the box and one outside just to make sure all those bits that you saw will be beautifully neat. So again I'm going to use my pencil to trace that hexagon and again I'm going to cut it with my scissors. Super quick and simple. So if you have a compass, I really hope you will use that trick because in the end it is worth it. As I told you, one side of that box was one inch and seven eighths. So that was the measurement for the circle. Now I'm going to stick one hexagon at the bottom and one inside. And I do encourage you to use maybe chopsticks or a pencil so you can put it inside and actually put a little bit of pressure so this way everything will be beautifully finished and what's really good about it you can actually turn the hexagon inside so it means you don't really need to erase any pencil marks super cool right so you can use a pencil just to press it down a little bit or you can put your hand if it fits and then it is finished super amazing right so as i told you this box is very easy to create and now all you have to do to finish it off you need to choose a ribbon from your stash now i'm going to press on those collines and the box is complete as you can see i do have quite big opening but as i told you i'm going to use some tissue paper to put inside so this way no sweets are going to leave the box now i'm going to use the ribbon from my stash and it actually says merry christmas in polish i'm just going to wrap around and create a bow super quick and simple and the box is complete so what do you think about it would you like to give it a go i really hope you will because this box is super easy to create so you can actually create quite a lot of them for Christmas and maybe you can put them on your Christmas table and put some sentiments and also beautiful goodies for your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And here you can see Monica's tutorial on this tracker box with five sides. Happy crafting, see you tomorrow!